Crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the Mercedes and I'm frosted. 23 and know we took the lead. Watch me talk shit. Everybody see me on my top dog shit. They were saying I was going crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the And welcome to the National Mutual Podcast with your host, Sasha, a.k.a. Uh, let's go with Daffy Duck. Whoa. Why Daffy Duck? A little cartoony. Let's, oh, no, he's a nigger just like me, you know? So, is this confirmed <laughs> on the, the podcast? Okay, uh, we, listen. Uh, Riverside, uh, you know, we're not going to give you too much free promo because we'll, we'll, we'll work that out. We need to get paid. Uh, but y'all did right by me when at the end of it. We're back on this new platform. And guess what? There's clip markers like i can add clips whoa like i had no idea look at that that's sick that's actually really cool um yeah so we're here we're alive it's episode 100 it is i christian aka i mean i'm definitely not daffy duck um you know i'm gonna go with a george the puma a george the puma uh a, a very niche character maybe you've never heard of it um but uh yeah that's who i am a little dopey you're a, you're a man up. of the niche i think the people have figured that people out. have not come to appreciate your nicheness but it's it's there and it exists. oh it does something that is crazy to me is how people just be remembering actors names mm. damn same bro this nigga was i was listening to the last episode this nigga was talking about Chris Pine and like who the fuck is Chris like, Pine? Who the fuck are these niggas, bro? It's, it's, it's and I realize you know hard. it's not just from not remembering their name, but it's also like there are movies where they play so many different characters with different names. Yeah, it's like this person doesn't actually have a name, but I do, and that is Thriller because I'm Thriller from the Three. <laughs> what? What? What was that segue? <laughs> that was the best segue. And guess what? You know, uh, since we're back on our new platform, uh, I want you to regret it already because the soundboard is back. <laughs> it's alive and well. I have dug up things for us Don't to worry, use. Look, look, look at Sasha's face oh. like dying. Like he I'm, wants to murder I'm me. not going to put it in the audio. It, oh, you don't have to. I hate it. <laughs> oh, I know. I know because the real the the effect is live. It's live. The effect is live. It doesn't matter. I've already I've already ruined uh, the 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 moments <laughs> that I want. But I like this, you know, because uh, I, I Daddy chill. I'm I'm in control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in control of the chaos. Daddy chill is hard. Yo, That's it is hard. hard. I mean, bro, can you? Okay, we're we're already into it. Um, it's episode 100. If you haven't noticed, we're at the top of the episode, and we're gonna remind you something. Y'all have been with us for 100 episodes. If you haven't subscribed <laughs> or hit the bell for notifications, if you haven't shared or commented, now's your chance. It is your chance to be a shining beacon of bacon in our community. Do that. Be oh. a meathead. Be a meathead and say how much you love us. We appreciate it because 100 episodes, you know, they, they always talk about like how, like, what is it, like 50 episodes and you kind of hit your stride. I, we hit that stride pretty early on. We figured it out once we once we added, you know, the Joseph, uh, the Saint Thriller of the three into the mixture. You know, it feels good. Uh, again, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, rate our podcast on Apple and Spotify and anywhere you can. Uh, uh, I appreciate it. I, I just, I just want to keep doing this because even if we just do this silliness for the rest of my life, I, I, I'm okay. Well, there's got to be some money involved that really, because you know, Sasha's. We got to upgrade his camera. He's, he's tilted. He, maybe the Earth has tilted. He's definitely in a disaster film at this point. Uh, do I, am I really like tilted? Yeah, you tilted, bro. I just feel like <laughs> you're tilted. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We'll we'll live with it for right now. We've already dealt with it. Oh, I see it now. I see it. Right. It's it's slight. It's slight. It's tilted, bro. Like uh it, you're in a disaster film. And and that's something that I was touching about, uh touching on about uh before the episode started. Um I never want to be in any disaster. Like all of that shit, like I, I obviously nobody wants to, but like that shit gives me crazy anxiety. Like, why do we why do we have to worry about that? We we already got taxes for some reason. We've got credit scores, uh, car notes, <laughs> and, and and we got to worry about like health scares. 
And on top of it all, we got to worry about a natural disaster that we have no way of predicting half the time. Like a tsunami just happens, bro. Like you're not like you see the water recede. That's your only warning. Okay. You're, you're not, you're not yeah. hearing about it on the news. And be like, yo, time. you got to like not be at the beach today. <laughs> like there's no, like, you know, I think hurricanes get that benefit where like people like get the, 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 the heads up, be like, Hey, listen, something might happen during these hours. So like, Put things on your windows, but a tsunami doesn't get that. That should, uh, I don't know, earthquakes too. Like nobody's, nobody's sitting there, but like, mm, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> like, like, kind of, right? They, they, they see like well, seismographs and shit. First of all, I think you just talked for a full four minute straight. I can do so that. Whatever strain you're on, <laughs> whatever strain or anxiety medication, it's strains uh, combo got you fired up today. Yeah. Um. I'm also, I love how. You're the one concerned about natural disasters as if you don't live in a hotbed of natural disasters and the worst possible spot to be in. If it snows three inches, you'll die. Okay. There's a chance you'll be stuck in your house. For yeah. yeah no. Your power goes out every eight minutes and you are the one scared of natural disasters. Move to a city. Bro, <laughs> listen, that's, that's the point, though, right? So nobody's immune at this point. There's not one place that, like, is completely safe from a natural disaster. I live in a landlocked state for the – like, I'm not worried – like, I'm not worried that a tsunami is going to happen to me, but it, it is freaky to think about, you know? And, again, I is, am Is tsunami the only disaster? Uh, it, it's one of the more you unpredictable snow, ones. You can have flooding. Yeah, but snow, you can – you even if but it, the thing is for you, you don't know what happens. You don't need a natural disaster. But you don't need a natural. You need like weather. Like weather shut your power off three weeks ago. Yeah, just weather. Not even a disaster. Just weather. Your yeah. point being weather. that I, I, my my fear is founded. I'm just saying, like this is this is something at the top of my head. I don't want to be in a disaster film like Twister. I I'll watch it. I'll, I'll watch a what, what's that? A 2012 is is that the disaster movie? Can we can we can we talk about something? Mm. Can we talk about something? Because I feel like a few episodes ago, you said in a zombie film, you would die. In an apocalypse film, you would die. In a disaster film, you would die. What film genre are you surviving? Let, let, bro? Because you just seem like the weakest link right now. Let, let's, be, <laughs> let's be honest here. Uh, we're uh, we're dying in all of them. In every version of the film, we're dying. We, we just have to die. No drama. We, uh, I'm dying. Don't we mean. In every, I'm dying in this version. A drama? And this isn't even a movie. So, like. A thriller, mm. bro. Honestly, the, like I, you would die I'm safe in a, a cooking show. Like maybe. No. Yeah, I'm safe at a cooking show. Like, uh, <laughs> nah, you're dominating in a cooking show. I'm safe bro. though. Like I'm not dying. Like me and Guy Fieri have no nah, chance of fighting. You're killing. Me and Bobby Flay are getting along famously. Like uh, I, I <laughs> like Ina Gardner, ha, like literally just handed me vanilla beans from her kitchen. If you don't know who that is, that's deep cuts. Uh. And it's okay if it's store bought. That's even deeper cut. Somebody's gonna message me about this in in at the wee hours when they listen to this and and realize that I just referenced Ina Gardner. And, and uh, I hope that's a uh, that happens. Message me. Hit me up. That definitely slide in my DMs for that kind of shit. So the only genre of television at all that you would not die in is a cooking show. You would die in a rom com. Yeah, you would be I'm like the dead rom com. A rom com. I am like the montage. I'm the, the dead, dead husband. Wife. I'm the one who 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 uh, uplifts their partner from 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 the grave. Like you deserve this. You deserve to have love. We already. We will. You're like meet. Patrick Swayze and Ghost. Bro, oh my god. Deep cuts. You talking about deep cuts? Ghost. Are you ghost? Are you ghost dad? Are you Bill Cosby? Ooh, that is my movie, bro. Can, can we? Can we? Can we? Yo, ghost. Can listen, we listen. the myths. Fuck Bill Cosby. Fuck Bill Cosby. Wait, but what? Ghost Dad was a hard ass movie. Okay, sh shush. Okay, we're on Ghost. Okay, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot go straight to Ghost Dad. We will go to Ghost Dad in one one moment, sir, because that this movie deserves all of its flowers. First off, Whoopi Goldberg. Like she's a, a medium. Oh, yeah. Like just her, her role alone was amazing. Patrick Swayze and whatever uh is Demi Moore, right? Wait, are you ready? Are you ready for the sweat the segue of a lifetime right now? Oh no. Are yeah. you ready? Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. Speaking of Whoopi Goldberg, how old do you think women are when they stop creaming and squirting? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, I was watching a porn no. the other day. 
Because I, I, I got to get you off the movie tangent because you'll be here for, for six hours. I was watching a porn the other day, and this girl was creaming. It was squirting. It was lotiony. It was slick. It was slimer coming out the pussy. And I was like, I wonder what age that stops. Mm-hmm. Like, do you mm-hmm. stop squirting at a certain age? Because squirting is different than being wet, right? Yes. Um, maybe. We're not scientists. Maybe, is it a We're not doctors. Uh, we're definitely not <laughs> experts of the body of women. What do you speculate? Uh, you know what? Reality uh, – okay, so I think right around 65, like the, the factory starts to kind of – like right around retirement age, it, your, your pussy does know. Like it goes like, you know what? We're done. Mm, well, we're done today. When was the last we're time done. any of us have looked up hot grannies? I have not. Squirting? Um, and right. I mean, you so can have not ever. If there's if there's some results, maybe it can't stop. Won't do we? Stop. Are you giving the national meters her homework right now? <laughs> we could do live. Homework. Yeah. Is that what's yes. Happening? yes. We could do live homework. Yes. Yes. But let's the give, thing is, let's the give thing our is, though, homework. The thing is, in porn, I heard a thing where, like, in squirt porn, a lot of the girls don't actually squirt. What they do is they stick, like, a, a balloon-type object no. in their pussy filled with water. Don't be ruining it, presses, it for everybody. press it on it, and then... Don't, it's, don't, it's, don't do... I don't... No, don't tell me that. I don't need all that. Bro, don't, you... Just lie to me. Let yeah, it Let it really. be. Like, it's the same let thing, like, lie. about people's body count. Like, <laughs> I don't care about your body count, but just lie to me. Like, just don't... Don't even tell me the Dude, truth. You know what? Don't... I feel like... Don't do it. I feel like Joey's like reaction here was just like when uh, Ed Sheeran was on Game of Thrones and it immediately took everybody out of the fantasy. Like, oh, uh, what the no, fuck? Like, get out of my dream world. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have this piece of shit? Oh, well, well uh, if you were wondering if squirting granny exists, it does. Um, how granny? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of wow. This 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 site is. Is really raunchy. Uh, I did. I mean, already the search now, history is wait. weird, but. I took the risk. What do you think is more common? What do you think is more common? Right? Just 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 use your 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 imagination. What do you think is more common? Grannies who are seventy and still squirt, or grannies in the porn industry who are fake squirting? So now we're adding a layer of of mystery, right? So we're saying a fake squirt <laughs> yeah. is is a part of what people are doing in the industry. Uh, we don't want the myth to be uh, to 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 be dispelled. So let let's just let 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 sleeping dogs lie. Let grannies sleep. Uh, you know, don't wake granny. Uh, let her do what she's got to do. There's Can more, you imagine though? I think there's more grannies in porn actually squirting. Yeah, I think there is. Do you know what would be sad though? If you like, at, like, were a married man, you had a crazy squirting fetish. Your wife squirt every time. You loved it, and then suddenly, like, sixty seventh birthday rolls around, and you just can't make it pop no more. That is crazy. I don't know, bro. I don't know how what how I I would feel. I, do you do you get divorced or do you, yeah, do you die sad? A little bit. You because men's sex drive doesn't go away for like ever. It doesn't go away like any point. I so fucking, like, your drive doesn't here. go right like your <laughs> drive doesn't go but you know what does your body your body itself goes like just the the, right. the fatigue you actually feel like your dick can't drive it anymore like before our dicks okay could but drive like us your dick 20. doesn't age bro but you remember like like my dick drives me now okay listen we can lie all we want uh i have never had a point in time in my life where i i've needed I I haven't been able to get hard when I needed to have, when I wanted to have sex. Right. But. Whoa, 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 back up, back up. Never. You've never, ever in your life. You've never had a moment where like, you just couldn't do it. uh, Right on the air. uh, Hand over, hand over chest. I never. Not once, Mm -hmm. not 14 when you were nervous, not, you know, you, I'm a professional. Um, uh, at this point, oh, man, I, I, I just smell the really pheromones and it story. does it for me. And it's like, all right, we are a go. Let's go. <clears throat> but what I will say is um, I have no idea where I was going with that whole point. Besides the fact that I do have hard cock and it doesn't ever disappear. But I don't know. OK, so yeah, now I get where I'm at. So age 20 to 29, unlimited power, right? Like, like. Dick could get okay. like my hard dick could get me to s- different states, right? Now, right. sometimes it doesn't even get me out of my fucking sweatpants, bro. Like it, it's just like it just you just want to like you want to <laughs> chill. Like your dick gets hard, but you just go like your body goes like 
but do we want to do this right now? And uh, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's listen. I I don't. As in, I don't. Like I mean, I understand man, what you're saying, but I, put I don't work. have that experience. I put in work. But I put in real work. I'm not having a, I, a, a little a little yeah, pity pack no, of, a, of, a, yeah. of a situation with you. We're not just going mm-hmm, in out mm-hmm. and we're done. I don't do the whole. I just want to suck mm-hmm. your dick here and we're done. Like I want to crack if I'm gonna crack. But so <laughs> like let me let me live, and that will happen. But at you know, now past my thirties, now I'm in my mid thirties. I'm a, I get tired, and I'm like, you know what? This episode of Reservation Dogs is way more interesting right now. Um, let me do that. Mm, You're single. That's I. That's the thing. There's the spice. Well, I can I can sympathize, and I cannot. I all right. So for me, as far as body beating dick, there is definitely times where my body has given out long before my dick but as you said i do be going the fuck in um but my dick is not ready to tap out but that's like mid-sex um and i have had times where i'm horny but and a girl hits me up and i'm like uh i'd rather just do this but it's not really because of my body not wanting to do it Mm. it's because of my soul not wanting to do it. fuck this have a one night stand with this random john like i i need a little bit of connection you know a little bit of connection i had some girl i had some girl hit me I had some girl hit me up, start talking about sex, like three messages in, mm. and I was like, "Wow, well, yeah. too much." Holy You're good. shit! She was she was twenty three, and I she was twenty three, and I said, "Hit me up in seven years." <laughs> like, you know what? Like, Damn, a little too young for me. Listen, uh, but um, you can't give give her any flack for it. She's twenty three. She is vibing. That like, listen, everything in her body is telling her to have sex, and lots of it. So that's what I'm talking about. That like that those your twenties when like you're you're literally it's just it's own compulsory thing. Like it it will land you in places you don't want to be. Like no, like even like like what about like like seventeen year old like horny? Oh. All of a sudden you're in some like girl's house that you have no business being in and. Her mom gets home and you're getting threatened uh, to be murdered. Listen, my my dick is taking me places, dark places. I, I I'm thankful. I'm thankful, <laughs> I'm thankful for for my marriage that has saved my life. I would probably be dead in a ditch uh, at this point. I listen. I I love your marriage. I speak about it to people all the time. <laughs> you are the greatest person I know. Mm-hmm. I love but you. I would I would pay so much money to see a reality where you're single for a year. I would like if I ever got rich, I would secretly cause you calamity. <laughs> it's what you were like if I ever like not like like attainable rich, you know, like not like a million dollars. Yeah. If I had like several billion, I would secretly fuck up your life. Yeah. Just to just to have you get divorced and be single because I just I just want to see it for a year, and then at the end of the year when I've been it'll be sad, bro, because I have Elon Musk money now. I would then like pay Joni to take you. It'll be sad, honestly. Um, I don't know. Like, uh, it, it, we we <laughs> we've talked about this. Snick is a fucking villain. He, bro. He's, I mean, listen, I'm used to that. Like, it's I I think our friendship is predicated like... on on the comeuppance of one one over the other. Like, there's like a good one amount another. of 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 camaraderie between the two of us, but there's also just a little bit of like you know, yeah, we want to see something really cool I, happen I, I, listen, right I'm, now. I'm saying so. I'll I'm saying like if I was. This, you're you're not in danger of this happening, right? Because even if we get rich off this podcast, even if we get Joe Rogan rich, we're still like that money would be pennies. It's for Elon Musk. I would need Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg money to fuck your life up like that. And that that's when I would be in my truest, most evil form if I was that rich. But like this, the human condition. The sheer, like I don't think there's any. There's no movie, no anime, no sport, no activity, no vacation. That could be more entertaining than closely monitoring the peaks and valleys you would have as a single man for like a year. Because you, you would be like this, fucking bro. supermodels and then like almost killing yourself. Yeah, like you would just, it would be from week to it's week. Feast and fa- it's feast feast or famine journey. with me. It's oh, everything in my life is feast or famine, and 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 it's like it's going good or it's going shit. Like not like so. Uh, I, I can imagine that if I enter this single life especially like you know we've talked about like some personal stuff and my confusion as to how people date now um you know i i don't even understand it when people start to talk about like kinks right away and what what's like what are you not down with like i, I like come on I, let's just 
Let's just talk. What, what's what's all this nonsense? I don't understand it. I feel like a dinosaur because I am I'm a thirty-five year old aging. Whoa, whoa, oh, let's. I'm a dinosaur, first of all, bro. you're you're a thirty-five year old man. You've in our what almost fifteen year friendship. Yeah. You've dated typically your age and a bit older, so I don't think you'd be amongst the what are your kinks community of twenty-three year olds. Uh, I hope right, you would God, date bro. Within your age reigns. I feel like, honestly, though, honestly, I, I feel told, like if you ever got single, you would immediately attach yourself to another woman that was a divorcee in the same situation as you. You're, you're very emotional. Guy. Yeah. I feel like you would you'd probably have like two to three months of like banging out like old Johns that would be yeah. single, couple of new hotties. But then I think you'd hit a real deep valley Sorry. and then come out of it with like a divorcee. You know, I think that would be the that natural progression. Your story. Uh, I, I think that would be, that would make sense because I would end up with like, a hot mom, uh, because you know that's my category. It's always been my category. I like hot moms. Uh, they're they're great. Uh, I love what they do. Uh, I think they need more. Uh, all of it. Go for it. We we love you. Um, you know, empty my bank account. That um, that 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 brings me to a question. Um, what's the judgment on fucking a girl that looked like your ex? Whoa. Well, I mean, is it like like you did on purpose, yeah. or you just have taste? No, it's just like you happen to be in the club, and you meet this chick who's got these attributes that so happen to fit, and she's bad, and so the and the one before it was bad, you know, and then um, uh, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. you. Know? So like, like you're in. Like, are you saying you're like intentionally seeking a girl no. who looks like your ex? No, 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 no. Or it no, just no, happens no. to be. It's just no. his type. You ran into a bad bitch who looked like another bad bitch that it's you used type. to mess with. <laughs> well, there, there's nothing wrong with that. But although but the Mine thing is, though, let's say though. like you know you 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 become very kind of cool with that, and then you know you post, and then now it looks like you bagged a duplicate of your ex because, bro. I mean, on purpose. let's be real. Not that it matters. Uh, I mean, I've I've dipped in all of that, and they all knew each other because you know, <laughs> uh, being in New York City and and the scene, like what a psychopath. Like, when I have yeah. one type, it had one type. So like all of the same girls were like, like t- it, it's a, it's almost as uh, it was like a big joke uh, in our in the circles that I was in because there would be like the same type of guy that I am uh replicated in different forms and like different loser like like levels like you know this guy's doing okay this guy like pisses in bottles in his mom's basement so uh you know so definitely like you know i would find that the same girl would always go after those guys so like she would make the 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 gambit until she got back to whoever she wanted to continue to have sex with because we were so similar and in certain ways that uh, it, it was natural. It, it, it was, you know, shout out did to you, my Eskimo brothers. Did you take offense <laughs> to this when you would fuck nah. a girl and then she would go and fuck another guy that looked just like you? Not at all. Because I, 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 I'm, a, a, I'm a progressive no offense, motherfucker. No pride? Nope. Uh, because I don't care. Um, uh, if I'm dating you, like, that's a whole different thing. But these these weren't dates. Like, these were girls that I, I ended up... As a single man, adding to the uh, the roster lineup, if you will. So, uh, you know, people you just end up having sex with, you know, on a on a more intimate level than just like you know, you know, passing by, but like you both like can vibe with each other, right? Like it was like those those were cool relationships because like the like even if they made up like the situation in their head because like some of them would really make it up and i'd be very clear i've never been that dude who won't tell you like this is not the only thing i'm 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 putting attention to there's so you've been like the sixth man just on the basketball team yeah yeah so i I enjoyed it uh it was a good time i i I just wanted to you know step into these people's lives and they step into mine for many teams yeah yeah you know and then you know you do what you got to do as adults and uh i uh so these were never like you know women that i dated on a on a even deeper level it's just like surface level roster stuff like you know we we're playing on the same team but we're not going home together i will I will say a funny story I heard on TikTok that kind of relates to this. So 
There is a girl I follow on TikTok, follows me. We're mutuals mm-hmm. and shout her out. She looks like my last ex. Um and every now and again she posts like dating content. And one of the date content things she posted was she had a really beautiful date with this guy. It went really well. They kissed at the end of the night. And then she pulls back and says, and the guy says, you look just like my sister. But like said it in an erotic way. (laughs) There's nothing erotic about that. that race. (laughs) There is nothing erotic back in that. Uh, We don't need uh, a live episode of House of the Dragon because if we're staying on topic, uh, they 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 were doing some nasty shit, bro. You know, I I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, you know, we've been reading about the incest, and we saw the incest with you know Jamie and Cersei, but seeing an uncle try to clap his niece's cheeks uh was a little was a little strong. I was like, oh shit, we're doing this. I was like, okay, because Joey, you look like you could be uh you know a Valerian really uh with the New York oh, day. Shit. Yeah, boy. Oh shit. Yeah, old house Valerian. Dragon boy thriller. Uh- Dragon Boy Thriller. Yeah. Oh my God! How cool would that I'm be? I'm gonna make that my Twitter. How name. how cool yeah. would it be if we had dragons? Like I think humans shouldn't have dragons because you know for obvious reasons, but it'd still be cool. <laughs> well, I mean, Imagine I did send you guys that, that post fair. about how there's rumors yeah. that dragons were real because they have existed Definitely. in every culture. The thing about dragons, though, is that for dragons totally to sense. fly, they need to have very light bones like birds do. Mm-hmm. So there could yeah. be no fossil evidence of dragons because the bones are too thin and too light, and they would have just gone with the yeah. sense of time. This is definitely some yeah. flatter bullshit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, I want dragons no, to be that, real. That makes sense. You think it makes sense? You think the but bones I would think... like disappear? I don't think it would disappear. Because, like, I mean... I don't know shit I, about I bird bones, so if someone I've says seen, they know shit about bird bones, I'm gonna go with that, what they say. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen a couple of documentaries on this over the years where they basically explain, like, scientifically, it's not impossible that dragons have existed. Um, it's just that we don't have any real proof, but, like, if you want to explain, like, flying lizards and dragons, like, a pterodactyl exists. We know a pterodactyl existed, but, you know, according okay. to the lore of dragons, they were much larger, therefore their bones had to be much lighter. Yeah. So right, 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 I, right. Listen. So dragons probably weren't like in the way, like in the way we see dragons now, where this like where this like impenetrable force, yeah. And like you know, you shoot a fucking a cannon at a dragon that survives. That probably wasn't the case. Dragons were probably very weak, but also very beautiful to look at and very nice. So, according to the weird, uh, you know, we History we have Channel Komodo dragons, I've seen right? That was on shrooms. We have Komodo dragons, yeah. so they're real and they're big as fuck. Uh, monitor the lizards yep. are huge, right? So I think, you know, maybe there was some, maybe some missing link, maybe, but uh, I, I don't think that like the bones would disappear. Uh, I do like the well, science behind here's the, thing. The, bu- the bullshit, though. Well, here's the thing a monitor lizard, a Komodo dragon, these are stupendously small in comparison. Oh, yeah. Because you have to think, right? In the, and, and the things that I've seen, they say that dragons are like, empire state building size mm-hmm. but to be able to fly as a living creature and be that size you have to be pretty fucking they could technically so it'd basically be like trying to find it'd be basically trying to find the remains of a massive kite. so I, here's one thing right so like the misconception of of how humans perceive life is is that we see it through the lens of what we what we currently can observe right so it's only as far as we can can actually see is what we can say exists right so that's why you know we have all these things that point to dinosaurs and whatnot but how do we i i lost my put my place again you know what fuck this i this the damn bro double edged sword <laughs> i was on it i was so on it it was there dragons do listen do i think this post brought to you by marijuana. It is. It is 100%. <laughs> I really w- I don't know if dragons could exist, uh, but I do appreciate the bullshit science. Because uh, did you watch that documentary? It was like a like one that like literally dissected every part of why a dragon could exist, like it, down to the fire breathing. Yeah, it was like they have like a methane gland in their in their mouth. They chew on platinum. The 
Yeah, and the reason they like can breathe fire is because the fire actually starts like eight feet from their face. Yeah. So they're not like they're not like you know they're not. It's not coming from their mouths. It's coming from a gland, which is like you know, and they're creating a spark with their teeth. Of yeah, some kind. they have platinum that they, they that they chomp on on deposits, and that's that's where they kind of marry that whole like uh you know dragons hoarding like valuable goods like gold and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. So it, it's listen. I like Gee, that. It. Sounds convincing. I, as that fun sounds to mad me. fun. Like you know, I but uh, I don't think the bones are gonna disappear. Like that's uh, that's just my that's my only hang up on it. That sounds like flat earth girl shit. Like, but I mean, everything else works. Could have like so helium don't know. in their bellies. Like I told. That was my point. Is that we we see life. And we only measure life, but what we, how we can observe it, right? So it keeps updating itself because we keep making new discoveries as to, like, certain life forms living purely on methane. Like, we didn't think that that could happen, that we, that, uh, that within the known universe, that life couldn't be sustained if it didn't have, you know, carbon and oxygen and, and, and all these other good stuff, right? So I can totally think that there's things that happen to that animal that maybe other animals didn't have because we don't understand life in that way. Does that make sense? Did I get there? I don't know if sure. I got there. I get it. it. Yeah. Cardona is a salesman, not a scientist, so I'm going to go ahead and say dragons were real. <laughs> and they were real. <laughs> okay? Listen, uh, I love and I, th- and I think, too, you know what I think, too? I think... I love that we were just talking about like sex, but I think into too, dragons, baby. that like thinking about dragons, right? It's like if the theory that like their bones were so light and so <laughs> fragile that they couldn't like really they, that the bones wouldn't last, sure. you know, through through time. I think also if you kind of take that in with the fact that humans are shit, because there's stories of dragons, right? So yeah. You have to think, right? It's like if there's stories of dragons all over the world in, in continents mm-hmm. that never even met for thousands of years yeah. after these stories, then you have to kind of assume that maybe there was a dragon hunting ritual because we couldn't do anything with dragons, right? We couldn't fucking ride them because they were they were weak. Why? You know what I mean, they could fly. Oh, they were yeah. pretty, but they were weak. We couldn't sit on them because then they couldn't fly anymore. But what about so, the ones that weren't you have more the... terrestrial, right? Like the ones that ended up being on the ground? Because like you have you have dragons that exist in Asia that never flew. So I, I buy those. Well, those aren't dragons. Those are lizards. Listen, wyverns. If we're getting if we're getting technical, um, well, it's a weavern, dude. It's a weavern. It's a wyvern. Wyvern. Okay. But Vi- vase vase. Wyvern. Does a dragon <laughs> have yes, to fly? Yes, I'm a dork. Yo, can we just appreciate how sexy I look right now, though? For those who are not on the YouTube, please go check out how sexy I am. I got a I got a no. Ring light. We're we're not gonna acknowledge. I got a new lighting Joseph. setup. No, we're going to acknowledge wait, wait. We're going to acknowledge this because I was making clips and I was like, damn, Christian's lagging a bunch and I'm too in the dark. And here Joey is looking like fucking just chocolate milk, just amazing. And fucking he, he looked like, like the commercial of a chocolate milk, you know, when the glass is kind of dewy and it's just you have to see the slow drip in the condensation. I was like, damn, this nigga looks so good. I want to look that good. So I asked Joey, I was like, what's your light setup? And he's like, oh, I have a ring light. And I was like, I got to get a ring light. And I have one, That's but it, it has no stand. So I was like, fuck, I got to get like, there's there's no way to buy like a ring stand, a ring light stand by itself. So I bought a ring light, got nice. my new setup, and I look good. So if for nothing else, head over to the YouTube, drop a like. This is right at the middle of the episode. So drop a like, drop a 100 episodes. Say, Damn. Okay. Sasha looks good. It's 100 episodes. Sasha looks good. Share some clips of me looking weird and ugly when I had had bad lighting so you can appreciate how good. I got a little bang going Your over here. Your clips always look the, good, bro. Yeah. Your footage has always looked good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, the framing I mean, has always been great. It's it's just always like I feel personally because for the in the in the other episodes, I had it where like I had to zoom in on myself. So I would zoom in on myself on the camera. Right. But then when I went to make a clip. I would also zoom in on myself because of how, how like, you had to crop, crop it. it. And I was like, damn, this looks stupid. Like, I'm mad close to no, the camera. And I, I was think like, I gotta figure this out. Great. Now, look, bro, if you look at the clips, you look good in all of them. Wow. You look superb. Even if you're in it for like a second, you are the star of a clip. 
Hmm. Even if you're just like wow. going in reaction, like yes, it's like damn. That's true. You, I feel like because I was like going through our look TikTok, at myself which also that's weird. Follow us on TikTok at thin. I mean, sorry, at National Meat Treasure on TikTok and Instagram. But like, go through our clips. And the ones where Joey's in them, it's like, like it's like I was going through it, and it's just like such a reprieve because I'm talking in most of the clips. But like when I go through it, and like there's like a second of Joey, it's just like a reprieve. <laughs> It's so sexy. And it is. And I'm like, damn. I only. I need. I need weird. to look as good as Joey. Yeah. Maybe that's oh, weird, nigga. Well, I would fuck, you. bro. No, you're hot. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah no, yeah, no. Yeah, what I'm saying is, skin. what's weird is that when I watch clips, I just kind of disregard myself because I'm watching y'all. Like I'm listening wow. to my friends talk to me, so I'm like I'm looking at y'all. Yeah. Well, like I make the I'm clips, like, so I have to see like what are. Right, it's like right, when somebody right. new yeah. adds you on Instagram, and you're like, what is this person seeing when they add me on Instagram? So you go through your own Instagram. So we've been getting. And also, can I say something weird? We've been getting a lot of followers on on TikTok, but not a lot of engagement. So, like, are you motherfuckers just following us and not liking this shit? Like, double tap one time Yo, before you follow, please. It'd be great. Double tap, share, favorite, <laughs> copy link, do the whole thing. Like, let us get big. Because, again, and I haven't said this in a while. I'm going to make this proclamation one more time. When this podcast blows up, this will still be my wardrobe. Cut off mall thrifted t-shirts. One of you is getting your bills paid. A uh, copy, <laughs> like, a share to your story, a tagging us in the story, yeah. a sending a clip to your mom. This yeah. is an investment in your fucking self. Seriously. Especially your if you're mom. a black woman. Actually, happen. only if you're a black woman. But even if you're a white, even if you're a white guy and you have a black woman friend who's who's going to see this and go, I like this podcast, maybe she'll pay for your little white man life. Mm, too, you know, so I like it. I like it. Let's go. This is a <laughs> this is like an it. investment in all of us. Um, so, like I said. We're in the middle of the episode. Like, share, double tap, like, subscribe. We're in the, the middle bell. of the episode. Uh, jer- jerk off to how good I look right now and tell me about it. Was if it you're... a slow stroke? Was it fast? Was it in the bathroom at work? Let me know. If you're going to jerk off Ooh. to Sasha, uh, oh. at, at least let us know. I think it, I think we all deserve to, to, to publicly, you know, see this because it, it at least gives us that, that, uh, that fire in, in our flame, if you will. You know, I want, I want to hear about it. You know, I, if you have fantasies, I want to see, I want to see how deep they go. Also, if you do jerk off to this clip right now, mm. I, I want to know you because I want to know the person who listened to us talk about fucking dragons for 15 minutes <laughs> and then said, that guy's really sexy. I want to come real quick. Cause that's, yeah, that might well, be the wife right there. That might that be, might be the I'm love also of my interested life. in that kind of person. Cause that is just, that is a very specific niche. And I would, it would just be interesting to know if that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, For what, who comprises that demographic? You know, who, who, who are y'all? Well, who are y'all? What kind of research? You know what? Let, let me get a like drink before I, let me get another, let me get a cup of water before What you drink? Yeah. Questions. What you drinking yeah, 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 on, yeah, Joseph? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so earlier I had a toasted pumpkin cider okay. by this You're in the full pumpkin beer spin. company called Hudson North Brewery from new york cool, cool. fantastic it's uh like only five percent alcohol but for some reason fucks me up fast that's wonderful um, and it tastes fantastic and right now i'm i'm drinking the two roads roads mary's baby uh that's a good fantastic one. and see what i'm doing is gi- is giving free promo and the reason why i'm giving free free promo is because i want to show how good our promo would be you know what hit us up uh you want us to talk about your beer uh hit us up if you want us to talk about yeah, your yeah. your feet pics, hit yeah. us up. Uh, yes, if you want to talk yes. about your OnlyFans, hit us up. If you want to talk about your band, hit us up. You know what? Just hit us up. You know, if you got an idea, I would love to get up. a sex worker on here. We we've, we've been talking about that for a while. We but need I don't to, really know any like full time sex workers. What if, what if, if we I change knew the marketing a sex game? worker? If I ever like personally knew a sex like had a friend personal friend that was a sex worker, I probably wouldn't. My life would be very different. We can review OnlyFans, uh, you know, much like, you know. Oh, you know, that'd be a sick job. Uh, you know, if you want us to give an honest review, mm. hit us up. That's a strictly work Hold on, wait. job. No, you might be on something there. Is that a tax write-off? If we say that we are buying OnlyFans to review yes. them for this podcast. If, Do we have a separate LLC? Um, yeah. National Me LLC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get tax Absolutely. Benefits? My nigga, we got to make it happen. We, we got to make it happen. It is, it, it is not hard, and we will do it because we're going to have to. We're going we're gonna to pay taxes on cum jokes. Um, you know, that, that's, the, <laughs> that's the goal. Uh, yo, that's a fact. Yo, if we 
Like, no. like if we can make, <laughs> like, we no. could nut. If why is Sasha drinking nut? It that was. <laughs> why does the soundboard always repeat? Gotta double like, it. Still, like, you it know, still, still it hasn't figured it out. But I am drinking. Are you drinking nut milk? I'm drinking a glass of water with creatine in it. So I had I had a tequila drink before. So it's milk. I think I'm gonna keep it to one drink on the podcast. Oh, this nigga's I'm getting in... game games. I don't know what the I'm fuck. I'm always is... taking a vitamin of some kind. Why? Yeah, man. But I respect, that takes me I to my that. next question. Yes. What's the weirdest thing you've jerked off to? We we've already <sighs> answered this. <didn't laughs> we? we did not, because I would remember. <laughs> I feel like we 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 answered this, uh, and I I plead the fifth because uh, so I'm not, early I'm in my youth, about it. um, I used to really try to try to find um like workout infomercials of like aerobics. That would uh that would be a thing I would do. That was a good time. Not gonna lie, That's not- that was a good time. Like I would. I would go through all the channels and try to see like where there was where there were those like workout programs, those aerobic programs, and there was always one on somewhere. Um, sometimes music videos, but I'm trying to think. Of oh, something music, music videos! Video. Hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. How many people try to download Crazy and Nellies? Uh, oh yeah, of course. Uh, Tip drill. Shit, yeah. Bro. Ching Chingy Chingy so right there. Hot also, yes. hot in here was a sexy. No, 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 no. They had, tip uncens- drill. they had an uncensored hot in here. Tip, the uncensored tip drill. An uncensored hot in here. I was really into the uncensored chingy right there video. That was All thing. of it, bro. That was fire. That was crazy. I'm going to find the uncensored yeah. hot in here Okay, video. that's not weird, though. I feel like a lot of us had those kind of... No, no, that's not weird at all. Like, that's not weird at all. Like, you know, the, the um, Sears catalog, you know, from back in the day or, you know, like, like WWE, uh, like magazine, like, yeah. bro, I destroyed Lita pages. Like, don't like disgusting. I'm a, dis- I was a disgusting um, teenager. I'm trying to think of something weird. I guess maybe I'm not, I've never been into anything weird. What about you, Sasha? Goat fucking. <laughs> uh, weirdest thing. All right. So in the, in the vein of music videos. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I fully uh, came to it, but I remember when I was a kid, the video for "I Do" by 3LW. Oh my fucking god! I was so bricked up for that shit. <laughs> I get it. Oh my fucking! They were like, you know, it was a black, it was a dark skin one, a light skin one, and a Latina one, and I was just. They were Sick. all in leather when that was a cool thing for me at 14. Ooh. I was so hard up for that video. And the thong song? The video for. Uh... Bro. No, not the thong song. Thong song didn't do it for me. Really? You know what it did it for me? I'll... Uh, what's, what's the video? It's uh, Faith Evans, I Love You. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, she had this outfit in the fucking Stop. video where it's like. She's just like walking around in like a silk robe and her titties are. Like... You ever like. You know when you see a girl in a robe and it's like her nipples are just like. One, one, one little breath, and her nipple is gonna fly out. Mm. She's just walking yes. around like that in slow motion the whole video. When I was stopper. fifteen, bro, Faith Evans, I would have given my ent- my entire lower half to suck her toes, bro. Like mm-hmm. I hadn't hadn't even kissed a girl at that point, and I was just like, bro, that video would come on, and I would like, t- and the song is really good too. So I would turn the volume up, mom be screaming, turn that shit down. And I'm just like, no, I need Faith Evans to tell me I love you. Because the chorus is horny, too. I love you. I love you. I want you. And I need you. Oh, my God. Wow. Like, and she stares into the camera, like, 90% of the video. So she's like, she's talking to you. Bro. I love it. Oh, my God. Those those I early year horny. I mean, that shit right when this ends. Like, you know, watching, like, and J-Lo's. I think the weirdest thing. Actually, you know what? Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna let you change the subject because I, I don't have to say. That. I, 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 I think you should. Wait, I think we should wait. Give the the audience. <laughs> you should. Weirdest you thing. Uh oh. Weirdest thing. Uh-oh. Yeah. For sure, pregnancy porn. Uh, as much as I don't okay. want any more children, pregnant porn. I don't know what it is, bro. It just feels like he's making love to that woman. You know, like oh, that's my seed. And that's I've definitely not his seed. seed. Um, that's definitely not his seed half the time. <laughs> So I don't know what you're talking about. Yo, that is the craziest. Okay, that's not crazy because there's a lot of dudes I know. And I feel like, especially like, that. 
like men yeah. who who become fathers like after that there's something in their brain that like just like looks at a pregnant woman and wants to do things so i under i i i know not my king that's good not my king that's good i because I got scared. it's not a kink but i see a lot of so i remember there'd be a time i'd be scared you know how they say like pregnant women are glowing there'd be a time when They're i was like horny. younger before i had a kid where i would like see women and be like, oh, she's really pretty, and then like look down and she's pregnant, and I'd be like, fuck, like, and every time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, a couple years later, me every day, I would just see pregnant women in porn and be like, something about like the breasts are really full, bro, and they always kind of set the story up so Let's it's not real. weird. Let's be. It's okay. All right, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little <laughs> weird. It's always like, no, hold on. Like I'm a single mother I'm and I just want you. some dick, and my my husband left me, and some guys right. like being nice and obliging. Do you mean to validate I feel like wow. I mean, I fuck with that storyline? Do you mean to validate That's you right fire. now? I'm gonna validate you right great now in because the there's a there's a biological reason you're so into this. All right, because mm. you yourself are a person who takes care of themselves, right? Um, mm -hmm. Women. A lot of women, especially during pregnancy, do extra things and will avoid certain things. So really, their skin is amazing. Their hair is longer than ever. Their nails are healthy. Their, you know, their skin is glowing. They, everything about them is, is, is getting taken care of, right? Whether they're taking prenatal vitamins or they're avoiding, you know, uh, processed meats. They're avoiding, you know, no blue caffeine. cheese. Like, you know, avoiding all these things that, you know, kind of make us a little rough looking because they're not like, things that we we should be taking in you know every day you know like the kind of caffeine consumption you can you can attribute to like a red bull like is it's crazy because it's sugar content and all that stuff you're gonna look like shit uh but you get a woman who's like really into her pregnancy she like joni still just wants to be pregnant just wants to be in the uh -huh. pregnancy phase because there was something about it for her and i'll agree my woman looked amazing. Damn. Like, but it doesn't mean that she looked amazing any other time. Like, like she looks great all the time to me. But the fact that she was taking these vitamins and she was kind of avoiding all these things that normally would would uh would uh probably make her not feel as great, she's she's not doing it. Right. So they're really at, at at tippy top like performance. They're they're looking for it. So yeah, you know what? Biological reason why you love them. That just made me Think of a conspiracy theory, uh -oh. right? So we know politically, right? There's a certain type of niggas who don't don't care about women's choice in having oh. the say yeah. in having a baby. Mm -hmm. And then when they want these women to have these babies, they don't give a shit about these babies. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's really just fetish fetishization. They're just like they just want to see bitches pregnant. Mm. It's just all these male you know that's Republicans, right? baby. <laughs> who just fucking that's jerking off the pregnant theory. women. I think that's truth. I think you're right because they're just like that glow, that Christian glow. That Christian glow, bro. There's something about so it. Their own the cum, corruptible also nature. Get, let's let's cross reference. Right? I think it's the corruptible nature of it. Like the fact that you can hey, yo. in inject yourself into this moment and make it that more screwed up. That's fucked. Yeah. Go ahead. We're, we're good. Sasha, go ahead, Sasha. Sasha. You said let's cross ref what are we cross referencing? Well, I'm gonna cross reference. Um let's see here. Man, I'm now on Pornhub looking at pregnant porn and just seeing the views. Um okay. what if we get demographics? Now I'm gonna i I'm gonna say this. The views are a little low. So this is probably okay. mm, there's this one with two point four million. Mm. Diaspora in mm. hospital shows her swollen pussy before delivery. Wow, she is really Whoa! lost. Okay. 2.4 million views. That makes sense. Can we, can that, we, can we organize this by most viewed? Most relevant? Let's see. Most. That viewed. tracks. Because the hottest part to them is the actual delivery of the Daddy baby. Chill. <laughs> see, damn, you know, chill. pregnant team enjoy. get fucked until she squirts. 14 million views. What? Are you fucking um, looking up, bro? See. Like the like, we can't the even most put these pregnant notes cream pie, in YouTube. Nine point five million at this point. Like this is this is <laughs> wild. I'm I'm just I'm just because we're I mean we're I mean I'm trying to validate Joey's you know theory because he's saying yeah. that like 
Yeah. Niggas get girls pregnant because they have a pregnancy fetish. And it's like, I've never mm -hmm. heard anyone talk about this until me. But on Pornhub, 6.5 million views, 6 million yeah. views. See, that uh, 6 million views there is a all from like There's a market. 55 senators. 55 senators, although all 6 million views. Oh, yeah. 6 million divided by 55 is in. a lot of sperm from one person. Your governor's checking in. Yeah. If they're Couple a governors, Republican, yeah. they're checking in. Uh, and that's the demographics we need <laughs> is to is to be able to say that these clips earned third like ninety nine percent of the Republican like you know views like now we like you know we can we can delineate and then we can make MAGA porn and I'm sure it exists already. But see, but uh, yeah, oh yeah, uh, it's gotta. but now I feel like am I missing out? I've never watched pregnancy porn. Now I'm thinking like, would my wife be hot pregnant? Ooh. Should I get my wife pregnant? Ooh. I should have a baby. Yeah, I'm always Wait, for hold that. Hold on. Can I just fuck that? Can I just <laughs> I'm always for that. Do it. Can I just read you this one comment on video entitled Pregnant Babe Indica Monroe has rough hookup with Brian Gosling? Um Why? the <laughs> top comment on this video with six point four million views, the top comment is what have I done? <laughs> oh, That's a dark place, bro. That's a dark place. It's okay, brother. Look, nobody has to suffer alone. No. Okay. Definitely not, man. You can get help. We're we're here for you. We want to see you get help. Um, Definitely. Uh, yeah. That's we want to get you bro. help. What have I done? You know, um, you you talked about like the weirdest thing that you jerked off to. Uh, I I won't. Uh, admit the weirdest thing I've jerked off to, but I will admit the weirdest thing I've, I've, I've learned about. Um, you guys know about messy tales? No. Mm. So, mm, I don't like what is it. this? Uh, I don't know what that uh, one of our boys, <laughs> me neither. That just, that, that was so dark. <laughs> well, very dark place. Uh, so our boy who specializes in this dark place of the internet, uh, Wang, shout out to you. Hopefully we just get uh, piggyback your SEO. Thank you. Um, uh, so, he uh, basically put this whole story together where it is a Twitter account uh, that belonged to a furry uh, who admitted to one of his uh, fetishes uh, being scat play and that he enjoyed uh, eating it and, and, and like smearing it and all this terrible thing uh, in his furry suit no, uh, outside I, of his I furry knew. suit. He literally had pictures of like like him handling <laughs> like fecal matter in his uh in his paws uh so uh that's why he's called messy tales um so uh there was this whole mystery i, I fucking knew it. this whole mystery that he disappears uh from the annals <laughs> on purpose uh annals of, of the internet like you know uh background uh our, our good friend wang puts this out and it just like launches it into the to the the stratosphere and now it's in the ethos so uh, messy tales. You're welcome. If you want to see a really good story, that's probably one of his best videos ever. Cause that shit really has you making look like it, it literally makes you look up somebody who played with his own shit. Like just, if you're that curious person, bro, no. it just, just makes you look it up and you go like, I know I need to know that this exists or not. Like, is this, and, um, yeah. Internet mysteries. You're welcome. Did you need to know it exists because you were looking for a new niche? Uh, you know, I like supporting my <laughs> friends, uh, and uh, I go ahead and wait a minute. I told you, Wang, he put he Is made this the video. Nigga? Wait, oh, okay, wait. I thought, I'm sorry, I skipped that part. You skipped I thought that part. this was a nigga we knew. No, 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 no. It, it was it was a video. Like, I re I re a video he I made. I remember when you said Wang. Yeah, yeah, he made a video that was right, about, about that, yeah. and I tuned in, and it was, uh, you know, lack of a better word, gripping. Uh, you know, that speaks to my, uh, to, to his, his directing <laughs> yo. style because yo, I was, I was in it and like, I, I went as far as to involve my wife and let her see this horror. Um, if you want like just a good night of laughs, uh, I think you, you should definitely check that out because it fucks with your head and it makes I have you... a scat porn. I have a scat porn, like memory burned into my mind. Okay. Some shit I saw on Twitter. Did you jerk off? Some little <laughs> shit I saw on Twitter. No, 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 no. But it's just burned into my mind. Um, and it was, uh, it was a penis going into a butt. Mm. And as they pulled it out, the butt started pooping. 
And then they continued. And then the the crazy thing was the way it ended up on my timeline, someone had retweeted it with the caption, I saw it. Now you do too. Oh yeah. Th- those those it moments. Was, it was purely to 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 spread it, spread the proverbial shit. Yeah. And um I was a victim. Definitely a victim. I was a victim. Definitely a victim. Oh my god. It's the worst being a victim to play. like you just watch some shit you didn't want to see. You did accident. not want to see. You did not want to see. Step uh stepbrother, stepsister porn um it, it is is like it, it, when you know that it's the devil because I'll say this. They'll get the best actresses and the you like the like just fattest of asses biggest of titties and all of a sudden you you pull out your meat and then she goes stepbrother and it's like god no please like just it's so unnecessary i'm I'm gonna watch you on mute now now i gotta watch you with no volume you garbage person you know i love that i feel like it's incel uh, it's incel aimed. It's targeting incels. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Because it's, also, it's can we just concept. point out the fact that Cardona said I had to mute the porn oh, yeah. and not just pick a new one? <laughs> like he was, if I'm he was seeing it, it through, listen, I have to see it through because I'm already be- I'm already started, bro. There's there's a few out yeah. there. Well, hey, that's a fact. There's actresses that you'll be you'll be following because I think you know maybe I'm at, yeah. at a certain age that I follow a certain actress. I think men have always kind of followed you know their preferred actress and. Uh, you know, then they get into that category because it's it's about the the good SEO. It's about you know hitting all the checking all those boxes. Uh, they they add you know uh, a little stepbrother porn, and all of a sudden they're you know 15 million views in on Pornhub. So I get it. Got to stimulate the I algorithm. I get it. And can I just? I'm gonna uh, continue to stimulate myself. Can I just give a shout out to? Because here's the thing about algorithms, right? It's like you like some things are born in the algorithm and some things are made in the algorithm right and it's like with the stepbrothers stepsister porn i don't think that was organic right i think people looked that up because that was a market they wanted so shout out to all the real life stepbrothers and stepsisters who just had this weirdo that you know hey my my mom's Girl, boyfriend's son is looking at me strange and, you know, are now traumatized. So shout out to you soldiers. I hope you're doing well out there because. Mm. Right. It's rough. Uh, out I'm here. sure you had a rough life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going I mean? through it. Um, Getting accosted all the time. All right. All right. For the Patreon exclusive. Um, <laughs> who would you? Uh, <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the question that needs to be answered. Uh, and we'll do that. Um, at a at a in a private matter manner i mean well realistically right <laughs> let's give it to them let's give it to the fans let's give it to them you know let's let's provide the value realistically right if you're grown right if you're like 17 <laughs> and your parents split up and then you meet a like you know you uh your parents like you're 17 and your mother remarries you know and you're not growing up with this person um and she's bad, and then she's spending a couple nights at the crib, you know, and absolutely, absolutely, the next, <laughs> the next. I absolutely, about, like, what? I thought, like, I thought the direction you were gonna go was like, I could give grace. You're not. You're like, no, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> what? It's, it's also it's, like it's a perfect setup. If your mother, so here's the thing too. If let's say you're 30, your mom is 50. She marries a dude who's also 50. Okay. He happens to have a daughter that's also 30. Do you call that your stepsister still? Definitely if you're like not, not living bro. in the same house, if they're like a full right. adult? That's... Right. Hmm. Like, is that weird if like y'all link? My mother's husband's daughter. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm fucking my mother's husband's daughter. Is so there your laws stepsister? to keep you from doing that? <laughs> Definitely. Or is not. there laws to keep you from doing that or no? Hmm. Uh, mm, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's got to be state to state, it can't be federal. Uh, definitely. I don't think state. anyone's like monitoring that part of like people's lives that hard. Now, so it's a loophole. Maybe. Are you so? Are you judging somebody? Like, if you find out, like, one of your boys, no. moms, no. all right, immediately. If it's go. love, <laughs> if, if it's not. love, no. What am if, I gonna do? If bro? you're thirty, 
If you're 30, it's really just like networking at that point. You know, it's like, oh, I know you do so and so and so and so. You know, it's like Yo, it's not like we grew up to together and we spent meeting. our formative years. Yeah, you know, like yeah, <laughs> you both I go feel to like the there's same guy. story on this. Probably, definitely. That I need to find. Or maybe <laughs> there's not a Reddit story on it because it's actually going on a lot. And yeah. We don't know about it. What do you do as a parent in that situation? Like if your <sighs> if your son starts st- fucking your, you know, boyfriend's daughter. But like y'all go to different schools and 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 they're only there like a couple nights a weekend or some shit. I, I feel like it's happened. You gotta I let it like definitely you seen, feel like it's happened. I've definitely seen point. like the TV show premise where like somebody was dating and then unbeknownst to them, their parents got together and they were like, I don't know if we should do this anymore. But I don't know what show, hmm. I don't know what movie it was. It definitely has to be some like rom com or some shit. Oh, the one I'm dying in. Interesting. To, to bring it full circle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> to bring it full circle. <laughs> you're you're, you're killing like yourself it. because you're killing yourself because your dad is actually your girlfriend's father. No, no. What happens is I'm driving in this in this movie and then there's fog. And there's a drunk driver, and I get hit. No, and it's like no. very tragic. It, no, it sets the tone, right? Let's not say that, bro. It, it's gonna Let's happen. Uh, it, it, so it's it, we set the tone. It's gonna. We set the tone for the rest of the movie where she finds herself and has her like Stella got her groove back kind of thing, and then she's like throwing it instead. Instead of her finding just like <laughs> one guy, she's like at orgies, bukkakis, like she's and and I'm. Like in ghost form, like come back and be like, it's okay, I understand. And then I just go back to wherever the fuck I was. And hopefully, before like semen this touches is me, painful. Yeah, what if you're a cuckold in your this own not... uh, rom com? <laughs> oh my god, a cuckold in your rom com that sounds like hell, dude. That- coming that sounds that's like coming hell. with like the acceptance that's the name of, like, of the movie of, you know, quote, quote, that's coming lifestyles <laughs> that's coming you know that it. sounds like hell though that actually does, does it sound like hell, hell or are we progressive like, enough to to be yeah. men and say hey enjoy yourself you know what you've already done enough living we we could full circle cup, and that's how bro. we get granny squirting on camera because the ghost of her husband me? was like, baby, if you got to do it and you still got it, go ahead and make it. I just wonder, am I that nigga who would do it? Yeah. Like, am I that nigga? Yeah. Like, you know, when you see that porn where it's like the young dude and he's like fucking some really old woman and you're just looking at him like, what kind of nigga is this? <laughs> yeah. I could be broken enough. Is that enough. kind of nigga me? I could be broken enough. Um, is that me? I you, definitely. Like, you hit a couple of the blue chews. Bro. And then you're just like, I'm sure you that whatever comes my way like, is getting plowed she's down. She's like in her late 50s and she's got an amazing body, full silver hair. Like, like that's not even like granny well, yeah, at that point. That's, like, like th- that's, that's hot. Just hot. That's hot. But like, let's like real. Let's think about like, something that's not uh, hot. like. Like, are you gonna do something that you're gonna regret? That's what, what I want. What age are if you I capping single, it at? How much? What age are you capping it at for life? Ca- ain't no like, caps. Ain't no caps. No. Like, if if she's willing and re- oh, and ready okay. and consensual, like you're just like, all right, you know what? We'll find out. Sixty five. Sixty five. Right now. Okay. Uh, Sasha. I mean, hot is hot is hot, dude. I've seen some. You feel so, me? Here's the thing: the club I work at, it's um, there are a lot of older clientele, and I've been seeing some bad bitches that are like damn near seventy. Like, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what vitamins they're taking, juices they're doing, but I have seen some thick, beautiful black women who have been retired for twenty years. You know so, what juices yeah, they're doing? Hot is hot is hot. You know what juices they're doing? That's... They're squirting these grannies. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a club. They're that is shoving a up a bladder up. up their pussy and they're hoping that it just comes out at the right time. Uh, sorry. Is that the that key to youth as a woman club. just drinking your own squirt? That's hot. No. <laughs> That's no. my king. That's where we have yeah, the podcast yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> where it go is. On. Ladies, sip your own milk, baby. That's the key to the fountain of youth. Bro, uh, I think uh, they A woman they who is 70 years old is a club... You can shoot up with rubber bullets. That sounds just like a goat. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit. Oh my god, shit. you could just come all of these oldies? <laughs> yeah, 
That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if they're throwing it back. If they're throwing it back. This this is brought to you by Gunlube and Astroglide. <laughs> um, because even you know what's the greatest thing about pussy, being in your 30s, dude? He's a little lubricant. The greatest thing about being in your 30s is the amount of women who, like, have their tubes tied right now. Mm. They have their hysterectomies. They've already had their kids. They're done. Dating your 20 sucks because, like, half these girls really want the white picket fence. And, oh, yeah. You know, they're going to end up baby moms because that's just what it is. But, you know, like, the girls who are done, done, the, the single mothers. Thought it was feeling you? Ooh, that is. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was feeling you? You thought I was having a baby? I actually you thought I was having a baby. Time. Ice spice. Uh, <laughs> this shit doesn't work. <laughs> Give me the five hundred dollars for the abortion. I'll go across state lines. It's probably like double now. So um, you know that's topical. That's where we're gonna end the episode. Uh, remember that the National Meat Treasure has appreciated you for a hundred episodes. I I'm glad that you've appreciated us. Uh, our rambling, uh, our our thought vomit. You know, our yelling into the discourse. Uh, I w- would love for you to comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Whatever Joey's doing right now, um, he's he's gone super oh, saying on us. We didn't even address it. We did like I talked about it private. Oh yeah, this is terrible. I'm blonde again. Yeah, he's full blonde. Uh, so full blonde this time. Yeah. yeah. Again, thank you. We love you. Hit the bell for notifications. Right subscribe. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going strong. Thank you. You take it away, Sasha. Yes, sir. A hundred episodes. Love the messages, the DMs, the fucking the meetings. Just a uh, lot, lot going on. We're growing. I'm actually on two different other podcasts this week. I uh, recorded Ooh. on Black Splain yeah. this week. I don't know when that comes out. I also record on the Persistent Rumor tomorrow. Hey. So check that out when that drops. Nice. Um. Also. Giving you some content because I will be on vacation next week. I don't know if oh, these yeah, guys we are didn't going without about me, that. if we're just taking a vacation. Yeah, we're going to take a vacation. We, we talked about that because I think it's a, it's a good time. Uh, it's Joni's birthday uh, coming up this week. So I'm going I'm to celebrate my woman in many ways. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, when are you coming back, actually? I come back Friday, like the 29th. But I'll be in DR for a few days, maxing and relaxing, finally getting out of the country for the first mm. time, um, just celebrating all my wins and no losses this hey, year, hey. knock on wood. Um, but yeah. We'll be back. Good, good timing for that. Yeah. So uh, if you want to see those escapades, I'll be posting some content. Also, my TikTok hey. at thin.cruel.lips and my Instagram at thin.cruel.lips. And also follow at National Meat Treasure on Instagram and TikTok and at NMT Pod on Facebook. Take it away, Joe. Yes. Thank you, all of you meatheads, mm. all of you friends who've consistently tuned in, 100 episodes strong. Um, this has been a fantastic journey, and we've got so much further to go. Uh, so many more good times on the way. Fuck okay. yeah. And follow me at Saint Thrilla on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. I do have a uh, Saint Thrilla Facebook. Maybe. Uh, yeah, follow me on there. I, I need to. No, I don't need to do anything with Facebook. Facebook is awful. Uh, every time I <laughs> fucking go on Facebook, I'm remind. Every time I post a status on fa- Facebook, I'm reminded of why. Why you don't? I don't use fucking it. go on Facebook. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But uh, follow me at Saint Thrilla. Um. Hit my my drum.io. You'll find all my links to all my shit there. Follow 303BAM on all social media platforms and streaming platforms, music streaming platforms. We got Fire Music out, and we got Fire Music on the way. Yeah. Peace. We thought it was feeling you. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it, it definitely <laughs> is a great time. Uh, I love you. Have a good night. Be well. And this is good night. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep keep <laughs> <laughs>